right, guys. So here it is as it comes in the box. It's a Bateria Power 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour, LifePo 4, deep cycle lithium battery. Let's go ahead and open it up. Here it is in all of its glory. Bam, there's the battery itself. Looks very clean. Uh, very nice, very nice box. No shipping damage. Uh, this is what it comes with, a user manual. Uh, a set of bolts, which are going to end up going into the terminal spots, and then also a nice set of battery cables. What the test today is going to be to see uh, this battery without hooked up to a charging source. We just want to see how long this 100 amp hour battery can power this refrigerator. So what I've done is I went ahead and I have the plug here um, from the fridge, and then I went ahead and added onto the battery, I added a female socket, which will... Uh, connect to the male socket and I went ahead and attached it to the ground and then also to the positive and I went ahead and added a fuse holder you always want to fuse any uh, device that is connected to your battery the first thing I'm going to do is since I just uh, received this battery in the mail I want to go ahead and see what the standing voltage is it is rated at 12.8 volts so we're going to go ahead and hook up now this is a sweet tool this is a uh, just a digital uh, voltmeter I guess is what you'd probably call it. It's cool, it's a lot easier to use than the big uh, complex voltmeters with the knobs on them and all the different settings. This one, you can't mess it up, it's a no-brainer. You just clip, uh, it comes with an alligator clip on one side, you connect that to a ground, and then you just touch the probe to whatever wherever your power is, and right away it'll give you a red light to let you know there's power. And then, also it has a display, so if you look at the display, it'll tell you what the voltage of the battery is so i'm actually standing at 13 volts right now which is uh, very strong so the battery is all connected got the socket going here um if i look inside at the fridge you can see on the left it's 41 degrees fahrenheit on the right it reads 13.0 volts so that's cool the refrigerator has its own voltage readout and it is agreeing with the voltmeter we are at 13 volts so that's gonna be the test. We're gonna go ahead and just let this thing run. I don't know if it's gonna last a day or three days, uh, but we're gonna find out. And so I will be checking in to update the test. And I put my iPad back here so we can get a real specific study. Uh, it's Thursday, April 14th, 9.28 a.m. And so we're gonna go ahead and let this baby run and see how it does. Uh, 6 6 p.m. now uh, you can see the Sun is uh, is going down so it is 6 p.m. and let's go ahead and see what kind of voltage we're working with go like this and this and there we can see uh, after all day of running the fridge the battery is still sitting at a strong 12.7 volts It is Friday, April 15th, 9.20 a.m. So just about 24 hours from when we first started the test. And let's see how our voltages look. So looks like we're standing right at about 12 volts. Uh, so 12 volts after running all night. All day, all night. That's pretty good. So, um, you know, on a lead acid battery, by the time you hit 12 volts, you're basically done. You got to cut it off. Um, but I spoke to this battery manufacturer and he said uh, the cutoff is about 11 volts. So uh, we're going to go ahead and run this thing all day uh, into day two and see what kind of uh, what kind of voltages we get throughout the day. It is Friday, April 15th is 12.09 p.m. We're going to do a voltage test right here and we can see we're right at 11 volts 11.0 volts let's check the time it is friday april 15th 3 23 p.m you can see i have a calendar alert to go buy groceries and I did go buy groceries. <laughs> I went to the grocery store, I put the battery down on the ground, 
and uh, drove around and, and did some stuff and then went and loaded the fridge. I'm getting ready to hit the road here pretty soon, heading to Texas. So I wanted to grab some groceries and fill up my water and fuel and whatnot. So let's check the voltage though. Let's see where we're at. And we are at 11.0. Looks like about 11 volts right on. So 11 volts right on, that's pretty crazy because when I checked it earlier today, like around the morning time, it was you know around 11 as well. So uh, it's been kind of holding strong all day at that 11 number. Let's see how we're doing. 8.32, Friday, April 15th. Let's go ahead and see how this battery's looking. Fridge has been running all day. And uh, we're right at 11.1 .1 volts still. So that's pretty incredible. Uh, that's pretty incredible how this thing's been holding at that 11.1 .1 volts all day and uh, still going strong. So we're gonna go ahead and run it overnight again and see how it looks in the morning. going on guys so a little update on the battery so last night when i went to bed it was at like 11.1 .1 volts when i woke up this morning it was at 10.8 volts and so the fridge did uh stop cooling uh the the display still had power on it but the compressor wasn't running and i think it's just the voltage dropped too low um it is a 12 volt refrigerator so the fact that it ran um at all down at 11 volts i think was pretty cool and so, uh, but at this point it's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it um, at last night's voltage of like 11.1, because I know the fridge was still cooling. And so, uh, yeah, I think it was still a really great run on this battery. Mm -hmm. 